All right, guys. Here we have a four five hundred with the uh, bank one oxygen sensor. Bank one is located on the back of the engine. Yes, guys, it's you know nice and fun to get it. So bank one sensor one is right in this general vicinity, right below same same position as this manifold. It's in the back and the rear. Uh, so the easiest way to get it is remove the strut bar that goes here, two bolts here, two bolts there, and the one carrier here for the motor mount. This motor mount here is shot, but you know, it is what it is, but just remove that one bolt here, boom, and the two on the edge, and it comes right out. Uh, once you do that, you can, uh, achieve to remove it by placing a set of sockets all together. Right now I'm on it and this is what you're gonna need. You're going to need obviously the O2 sensor tool. So you just buy that. Buy, you're gonna need this, uh, the extension or the reducer from uh, the half inch to the uh, three eighths. So you're gonna need a half inch reducer to go to uh, the three eighths. You know, so place this and then you're gonna need a swivel. You're gonna need this one is like five inch. And you're gonna need a swivel like this. And you're gonna need obviously the uh, half inch uh, socket which is here, you know, whichever one you want, but you need the half inch because you need to apply lots of torque. So once you have all this, you know, you're gonna place, place, first place the O2 sensor on the O2, make sure it seats all the way down. Then you're gonna attach these to it. And then finally you come around the top and apply a swivel and then with the uh let me apply it so you can see you're going to need a, a some sort of breaker bar if you have a breaker bar great or if you need uh or if you need uh you're going to need tools all right once you break it you're good so you got to place it here like that you know put your wrench on top and then you're going to have to apply lots of force so you're going to need a pipe uh, you can put a pipe on the end of the wrench, or if you have a breaker bar available, even better. This is how you would do it, like this. It would go like that, and then that's how you would loosen it. And boom, once it breaks, it's it. Once, it, once you crack it, it comes out pretty easy. The sensor, the sensor to unplug it has uh, the wire, is a green wire. Uh, so you're gonna come around the side the sensor for you to retract it very easy just press on this tab let me show you the tab really good just press down on it and pull back so you're gonna press down on that tab and pull back and it falls right out here's a perfect example here the front one it is on a similar plug on the back you're just gonna push down on this and it comes right out push down on it and it slides right out one way to get it in, one way to get it out. That's it. And once you do that, you replace this strut bar again. And uh, I'll show you that in a minute. But once you crack it, that one initial crack, you can unscrew it by hand. And But you're definitely going to need the O2 sensor tool. Because it goes inside the heat shield. So you definitely need this tool. And you need the... Uh, couple of extensions a reducer because the o2 sensor is a 3 8 so i got a reducer and uh because you need the torque to <clears throat> crack it you, you might be able to do it with the three with the smaller wrench but uh that's going to take a lot of force and make your life easier just get the big stuff yeah this is about it. taking everything apart and then it's already in there it took me five minutes this is only, this is the easiest, quickest way to do it is that way. 
without removing anything on the engine. There is nothing that I removed except for the strut bar. The strut bar would be placed again. I'll show you exactly how that goes. The, oh wait, I gotta make the connection. Oh yeah, you gotta plug One it in. second, almost messed up. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> Plug in your sensor, you know, very easy. Just boom, plug it in. And then uh, you're going to come over and uh, replace your strut bar. This is the strut bar that I removed. It goes over the upper motor mount in your car. Uh, you have a total of five bolts you have to take out to remove this. You just feed it through like so. Very uh, futuristic design here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's in. So yeah, that, that one's in and then you just need the four bolts on on the edge here with the strut mount just reposition it again same same thing taking them out just tighten, tighten them down and uh that's it okay so bank one since the ones in the back easiest way again to remove it is this bolt these two bolts and you're all set and uh, this one and the two on that, two on each side, this whole strut bar here comes out because you need to be able to put your hand back there. With this in place, you can't put your hand there. You can remove this and the intake and all that good stuff and spend two hours here, but easiest way is just this and a nice assortment of reducers, half inch reducers for the 3 8 O2 sensor uh, socket. You can get these any auto store, Harbor Freight, online, wherever you got to get them. And then, you know, you got the uh, five, six inch, uh, half inch, and a swivel. That's it. And you're all set. So that's all to it. I'm replacing the O2 sensor on the, uh, what year is this car? 07. Here's the 2007 <clears throat> Ford 500. Very nice car. They ride good, and uh, so if you have that little code with the uh, O2 sensor, five, ten minutes of your time and a couple uh, sockets will uh, fix your problem. So there you go. Uh, that's it. One, two, three, four, five. Five bolts, and obviously cracking the sensor, all you got to do is just crack it one time. Boom. Once it loosens, you can unscrew it, screw it back. So there you go. Have fun, and I hope this helps.